Peter's got company. He's saying to me, she's saying to me, sorry. What are you doing to my old house? <laughs> I, I want to move back now. I wasn't interested when it was for us. <laughs> yes, but now I've done all this work, I wouldn't mind it back. <laughs> <laughs> she came and tried it for size. <laughs> That's funny. Beautiful old pear tree. It's looking a bit, um, how can we say, scabby, the bar tree, but it's so pretty still. Don't know why it's gone like that, maybe just age, but she's still looking very beautiful. The flowers. So I put some stain on these doors and I'm just doing some fake um, straps, struts. And then what we'll do then is we'll just Well, for those with keen eye, you'll notice that that brace is wrong because <laughs> this is this is this is the hinge line here, so the brace should have gone up there. But who's going to worry? I don't think the ducks are going to know. And I won't tell them if you won't tell them. Very good. There we go. So what are you doing there, honey? Dividing. <laughs> You're dividing? Dividing a piece, Lily. Look how root-bound. It's really root-bound. Wow. And that's going to make us make two well, piece well, lilies. Into three. Okay. Split it into three. And then it will wilt for a while. It'll go, oh my God, what's uh, just happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it will adjust. You do remind me in that shirt of Felicity Kendall from The Good Life today, oh. I have to say. Oh, what's, what's the name? Oh, Barbara and Tom. Tom, yes. Oh, you're my Tom. Barbara and Tom. <laughs> that woodpecker in the background sounds like a ace, MP40 submachine gun, German, <laughs> from World War II. People are going to think it's odd if they can't hear it on the camera now. <laughs> they? So you're going to have to do an impression. You're good at impressions. Oh, yeah. Do an impression of woodpecker. Which sounds like an MP40 from yeah. World War Two. Go on then. I'm waiting. Waiting. <laughs> if only you could see his lips <laughs> while he's doing it as well. I can even do a ricochet for building. <laughs> there we go. Hey Storm. He loves it in here, doesn't he? Yeah. He's yes. like your favourite apprentice. And I hope you lose some of that coat now, Storm, because you're going to get boiling in the summer. 
Oh, here's Bumble and Charlie. Well, there's Charlie walking by. Miss Anna's put this netting up to stop the chickens coming in and eating all the plants. Well, no, they're not, no, they're not eating them. They're trying to help. Oh. They're trying to help. They think I want to dig everything out. Oh, I see. So when, you plant, when I planted the bucket, they thought that I need them digging out. So they go in and dig them out and they congratulate themselves <laughs> on a good job. <laughs> That's it. Did that knife help? Yes, thank you. Wow. Right now, if plants can scream and shout, this one's swearing. What oh. the hell happened? But with lots of swear words. Oh. So let's get, get that bit straight into the pot. And there we go, look, that's what she's done. <sighs> Hit a screw. Oh. Silly mistakes at the end of the day. Hit the screw with that one. I oh, should miss it. He says. This is the uh, Greenus Muchausen plant, which is its Latin name, uh, Greenus Muchus. Um, it likes warmer climates and uh, loves water and a good feed. And what we've done here is, uh, I haven't got a coat on to <laughs> 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 yeah, let me do you. Stop being rude. <laughs> These are the pistolas divided in two. Tell me a little bit about them. I'm <laughs> <laughs> doing interview for peace lilies. Yes. Yes. So tell me, tell me, what, what do you know about these peace lilies? Yes. Well, they're much happier now they've got room to spread. In fairness, one looks, one third still looks like the same size as the old one. Yeah, because look, look, right, look at the size of the pot they're in now, look at the size that all oh, this was in. Okay. <laughs> So all that was in this pot. Wonderful. It was, it was screaming. Mm. Get me out. Uh, well, I knew that, honey. I was waiting <laughs> to see how long it would take you to repot them. Yeah, dividing plants <laughs> is one of those jobs you always like have to get around to doing, and it, you never do it quick enough. No, never but do you've done a great enough. job. So yeah. what do you do? A bit of plant food, a bit of water, and then no, back no, indoors? No, no, no plant food. No, no plant food on these. <laughs> We've got fresh compost in there. Oh, yes, you did say. You did bit. say. Yeah, but well watered, lots of watering in, and they'll wilt for a while. Okay. Um, but then I'll come back. There's no wilt and, without growth. And then we'll get lots of flowers again. Perfect. Mm. Okay, we're coming to the end of the um, duck house build. All I've got to do now is put the roof units on. And I'm going to use the ones off of the old chicken coop. Um, they're like a bitumen uh, material, so they're fine. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make the roof watertight with the existing bitumen panels. So we need to do a, um, just an infill there, an infill there, and fix these properly. Um, and then I want to do a thatch roof effect because it doesn't matter what I put on top um, because it'll already be waterproof. And I've had a crazy idea that Charlie, our little beagle dog, has um, messed around um, with this rug that we had in the office. And it's a bit smelly, uh, but it's nylon and it's got a hessian back. So I'm wondering whether I can colour that and use that as thatching. Because, as I say, it doesn't matter what I put on top. As long as that's waterproof to start with, even if water penetrates through the rug, uh, it's not going to get anywhere. And maybe if the rug weathers, maybe it'll look nice. So I'm going to try that. 
Um, it'll be a lot quicker than doing it with proper thatch because this project has taken, I've, I've gone too much, uh, too much detail on this project, so I need to get it finished. So I've got to build the deck that that's gonna sit on, on the lake next. Anyway, so we've got to do the roof and then cut the door in the back. It's gonna do that. And then we've got here, you can see the front doors are on. They're looking nice. And I've got a couple of uh, shutters for either side, which are just here, uh, just drying at the moment. And then a couple of shutters for the side there. So they've got to go on uh, the door in the back and finish the roof. And if I get a lot, if I get any time, I might put a chimney on the side, but it depends how I feel. interrupting each other we're going out again <laughs> there's no stopping us no, live music i'm going to hear live mu live music at the bar oh, so oh, i keep hitting the camera on the, on the window driving. My excitement. <laughs> it's a bumpy road <laughs> so we're on our way but i want to hear lively music i want to hear music that makes me feel alive today yes i know what you mean <laughs> but anything we're, we are sapping up social contact as much as we can because yeah. we've had some terrible restrictions here in France with the past sanitaire and mandates oh. so we're making the most of it aren't we honey yeah there's going to be quite a few knocks on this you hear a few knocks of me hitting hitting the camera on the windscreen because the road's so bumpy welcome to Pete and Anna's tours we're now going through the little pretty village of Parnak. Parnak. On the right hand side you'll see a cafe which is famous world over for never being open. <laughs> Au Bive, bon vivre is the name right. of the cafe and it is closed. You wouldn't have seen that because it's in a little like little alleyway. Yes, it doesn't make any difference. Imagine somewhere dark, closed and shut with nobody there. That's that bar. <laughs> We're dying for it to be open because it's literally spitting distance from where we live, but never been opened. Honey? Champignon. Et aussi poulet faillita. He needs to tell you something. Okay. Hang on. He can't. He can't finish off the duck house today because. Give me orders to take it easy today because I had a slight accident yesterday. I fell down the stairs. I wasn't even drinking either, <laughs> and I fell down the stairs. I slipped. We're going to have to get some runners on those. I twisted my ankle quite badly. So. Yeah, and it was a week ago yesterday. No, today that I twisted my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to be the same. <laughs> so I've got to take it easy, otherwise we're not going to be ready for Paris. <laughs> and that would be terrible. So I'm going to help Miss Anna do some planting today. Or yeah, it's been planting ardent. stuff. 
we're doing easier. Little pots and things, we'll show you in a sec. Yeah, easier. <laughs> He's cut the wood for the poles. What would you call them for holding the Just baskets? pads, really. Pads. So we can put these pads. So if we have these as a couple of rails, just to hang your baskets on. This is rough wood that we got from the from the lawnmower pallet. Huh. Um, so more pallets are being used again. More pallet wood. <laughs> There's not much left of it. So we put these into the wall so they'll be a bit cleaner. And then clean all that up. So we put those into the wall um, and then screw this to that at the same at the other end like that you see and that will hold them off the wall so there'll be enough room for you to hang your baskets from. Yeah. Um, and we'll just give them a quick stain, clean up. What do you think? Looks good. So nothing much to see at the moment because um, Miss Anna just planted seedlings in there, so hopefully they'll come up in the summer. So she wants to do something on the bottom, maybe some sort of bed. Um, but we've got the rails up, they look quite nice, a bit of stain on them to bring them into the same colour as the rest of the timber. And then she's been clearing this bed all afternoon. I can't wait to see, not being a gardener, I can't wait to see what happens from nothing, what, 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 what appears from nothing. I'm wondering what to do with this flower bed here. But it, I think it's quite shallow, so I think I might fill it with annuals. Or a cottage garden mix, we'll see. Betty and Bella over there. I've weeded the flower bed and I've trimmed well taken the last year's growth off of these grasses that are in here and i'm going to put compost top it up with compost and then we'll put some annuals in there time for a drink it's so hot we're not having a cup of tea we're going to have cloudy lemonade They're all done. Look. Four baskets. So I've put seeds in. I've forgotten the names of them all. In the middle two I've put, I put in there, marguerite I think it was. And in this trough here, I think I put marguerite in that pot over there. Ah, uh, gladiola. And I put some seeds in this one. And I've forgotten the name of those, but they're pretty orange and yellow flowers. Can't wait for them to come out. This is the thyme plant, herb plant. And I've just trimmed all last year's growth off because you can see it's got. Um, the new growth coming through. But also, while I was doing that, I noticed we've got some little runners. So I've just taken one out and put it in here. Get that leaf out. There. It's very small. And there's another one. I found another one. Just here. So that's I've got this runner here. It's come off the main plant and it's rooted there. So that's another plant. So I'm going to take that out, like the other one. And we've got a couple of new thyme plants. I am sweating like a pig on a spit. It's really warm today and we're cutting the grass. Peter is on the tractor mower and I'm using the uh, petrol mower. <laughs> you 
you silly. So Charlie has lost his list to the left. He's almost got a bit of a bound on. He's still, he's still frail, isn't he? He's not a young dog because he's 15, but when he yeah. gets going... He does like a lot of sleep. He does sleep a lot, yeah. But when he gets going, he gets a bit of a bounce on. We're making the most of today because for the rest of the week it's going to be cooler and more showery but you're feeling okay now you've got your cider yes. haven't you this one is <laughs> it's really nice it's lovely curry sack <laughs> brambles investigating the wheelbarrow <laughs> <laughs> 